Hey there guys, I'm Miguel Sanchez. Welcome to episode 433 of Moshi Monsters Biography. And we're glad you're here today. Hope you enjoyed the uh hope you enjoyed this new reaction thing that I did on Moshi's to Sleep Story Reactions where I ran to Bendy Like Dribbles. <laughs> On episode one, that was episode one hundred twelve, and was told by Shane Taylor. So, if you haven't seen that episode yet? Please go check it out. Also, I did episode twenty nine of Loki Two, where was my Lay's, Pringles, Buzzer, Seven Eleven, and Planters. So, definitely go check that out as well. And and I did three episodes of Loki History today. Three hundred forty was about TVNC One, TVNC Two, and TVNC Duke. Three hundred forty one was about NHL Network, and three hundred forty two was about Calm. So, if you haven't seen these episodes yet? Please go check them out right now. For now, though, it's time to close out today. It's a big day, but. The final episode, the final video of the day, and it's all about a Mosh League from the Birdies set. The second to last Mosh League before the, the final Mosh League, the big Mosh League before the, before the Super Mosh League coming up on episode 448, where it will be about Tuco, the garish Blamingo. I will talk about that on episode 448, so stay tuned for that video coming out soon. But now, we gotta get started right now. So are you ready for it? Good. We began the set with with DJ Quack, the Disco Ducky, on episode 102. Then we went all the way down to Peppy, the Stunt Penguin, on episode 297. And then most recently, we took a look at Professor Perplex, the Owl of Wiseness, on episode 321. Now it's time to take a look at the final main washing in SSO. Guys, are you ready for it? Oh, you better be. It's go time. And it's not stop me now. Without further ado, let's get started. Welcome to episode 433. Today is about Tiki, the Pilfering Toucan. Definitely out of the birdie set. So, yes, we're going to take a look at it today. Hope you're ready for it because it's go time, my friends. Break it on Tiki. You're going down. Uh, but don't have to see episode 422, or, or should I say episode 432? It was about um, Tittles. Yeah, the uh, the yelly water quitter who, who entertains a lot on Sludge Street. And besides, the tail's missing. So, yeah, so watch that video right now. I'll put a link up there on the top right corner screen so you can check out the video right now. For now, though, we will start this, shall we? Guy, okay. give it up for the new. Let's get started. All right, so who is Tiki? Tiki the Pilfering Toucan is a rare Mosh League from the, from the Birdie set in Motion Monsters. They are a Toucan who often steals items from Mosh Leagues. Tiki enjoys squeeze boxes and drinking punch. Okay, that's good. We got stats here. All black on this one. Nothing to worry about here. Name is Tiki, says Birdie's Mosh number 065. Oh my gosh, 065. Guy, good. Species Pilfering Toucan. Rarity is rare. Birdie's Austin's numbers 8 times 8. An OG Mosh League. OG. <laughs> I saw you. Bigger is series one, so keep that in mind. Finally, for the watch combination to catch Tiki, you're gonna need a star blossom any color, as well as two love, two pairs of love berries, one red and one pink. Yeah, two sets of love berries, one, one set in red and the other set in pink, plus a star blossom of any color. So that's a combination to catch Tiki. Let's do over here. Let's get into the biography. Colorful but crafty, pilfering to get can resist borrowing things from fellow washings, especially salty gobstoppers. I say borrow, but what I really mean is steal, because these thieving flappers are the naughtiest pirates on the planet. You won't believe how quickly they can swipe your pocket money and stash it in their bank and stash it in their beaks. Maybe it's because pilfering two cats once sailed the seventy seas alongside some of the meanest monsters in history. One thing is for sure: catching um, catching them is harder than any gravy. I always use a pile of gold coins and a big old net. Means I did they till they were stolen. Darn! <laughs> mm. It's no good, my friends. No good. Move on to the main bio. Colorful but crafty, feel free to guess can't resist borrowing things from fellow moshlings. When we say borrow, we actually mean steal because these thieving flappers are the naughtiest pirates on the planet. Maybe it's because feel free to guess one sale the 70 seas on one side of the meanest. Moshi monsters in history. Arr! Mm. Can't say about that, but I know. Me, Fletcher, Clever, and Figure Sky. Movie in series one, there's a good reason these two cans are known as pilfering. They can't resist borrowing other botching stuff. Perhaps this is because they used to stay on the 70 seas with the toughest bunch of saucy yuckaneers they that ever lived. You know, when botchings go looking for for their stuff, they head for the high palm trees near Lush Lagoon. It's here that pilfering two cans store their stash in hammocks made of coconut hair. They love salty gobstoppers, play the squeeze box, and drink punch. Oh my gosh, this is no good, my friends. Uh, in the character encyclopedia, main Tiki and the rest of the cunning gang of pilfering two cats rest their way up in the highest branches of the tallest trees close to Lush Lagoon. It's best that they do, as these mischievous pirates are wanted in every corner of Macho City for thieving monstrous amounts of stuff. Oh boy, this is no good. 
Pilfrey playtime. When they're not Pilfrey, Tiki and, and this fast flying throng of pesky pirates enjoy playing the squeeze box and drinking punch. They also love to lounge on their coconut hair hammocks small and made admiring their fights. Ugh, I know. <laughs> Sneaky beakies, Pilfrey toucans will take pretty much anything they can't get that they can get their beaks on. And that's quite a lot as their beaks are so big. Hats, salty, gossipers, rocks, nothing is safe. Uh oh, data file. Machi type birdies. Species filtering two cat habitats, palm, habitat, palm trees near a lush lagoon. Birdie birdies are DJ Black, Professor Perflex, and Peppy. DJ Quack was on episode 102. Professor Perflex was on episode 321. And Peppy was on episode 297. You haven't seen these episodes yet. Please go check them out right now. For those, wacky eyes are always on the prize. Colorful feathers, not useful when hiding. Elbow. And super size beak for st for story, plenty of booty. Okay, that's good. In the Motionpedia, we, we could find that entry. Could you add it? Yes, I can. Uh, because I got the Motionpedia in my head and filled out the information. Uh, they, they see you guys, so thanks. So, so let's we see what it has to say. Cuddle but crafty. Feel free to guess can't resist borrowing things from fellow boshings, especially salty gobstoppers. When we say borrow, we actually mean steal, because these thieving flappers are the naughtiest pirates on the planet. You won't believe how quickly they can swipe your pocket money and stash it in their beaks. Maybe it's because Pilfrey free two cats once sailed the 70 seas alongside some of the meanest motion monsters in history. Arr! Oh my gosh. Man, it's a lot of fun. We want to the habitat. Feel free to guess nest high and in the true palm trees near Lush Lagoon. Look up and you'll see coconut hair hammocks filled with all kinds of loots. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Hey, on the right side of your screen, you're seeing Lush Lagoon. It's got lots of palm trees out there and coconut and and sees a coconut hair hammocks. Wow, all that good stuff. Lush Lagoon. <sighs> no. You can be there. I know. Move on to your personality. Mischievous, pesky, and chirpy likes playing the squeeze box and tricky punch. Dislikes barbecue and cat barbecues and catapults. Oh no. No. Yeah. In the trivia, as Lefty said, said they were four pirates with their borrowing. Tiki is part of Cat and Buck's crew. Mmm. Mmm. Now you get that. Uh Captain Buck is Captain Buck E Particle. He was on episode 57 in the series. Lefty was on a very uh, Lefty, Lefty was on a past episode of this series. Lefty was on uh, episode two hundred eighteen. So if you see, yeah, please go check it out right now. The catapults mentioned in Tiki's dislikes might refer to them starring in Moshi Boshi. Mm -hmm. Oh, now I can. Oh, you guys, gosh! On the Moshi Rescue website, their file refers to them as Tutti Fruity Bird. The only connection made here could perhaps be with. The fruit will be with the Fruit Loops cereal brandy, which has a toucan for a mascot as Tutti Fruities, a, a, a round trees brand, and Tutti Fruity, an Italian gelato dessert, having having little to no connection with Tiki. All that can be interpreted here is that Boshi Rescue's designers meant, meant, to, yeah, meant to refer to Tutti Fruity and instead got the wrong name. This was supposed to be the name for something else. This was Tiki's supposed to cure, or this is just an error. <laughs> and, uh, and yes, uh, and yes, uh, and yes, uh, Fruit Loops was discussed on episode 6 of Loki 2, alongside Frozen 2, Never Lies, Apple Blacks, Alcohol Fresh, Annoying Orange, The Hyper 2, some Adventures of Annoying Orange, Lucky Charms, Tricks, Cocoa Puffs, Cookie Crisp, Pebbles, and Cheerios. You haven't seen yet. Please go check it right now. Um, and finally, for the category, there is Tiki. I see in the Moshi Seatory of Morgan's Lighthouse Lullaby. That's right. I heard you heard it right here, Bob, baby. Right here, Morgan's Lighthouse Lullaby. I got I got the name right. I got, I got the name of the story right. And that's the story I reacted to on episode 39 of my other show, Moshi Sleep Story Reaction. So if you haven't seen it yet, please go check it out. I'll put a link up there on the top right corner of the screen. Go check out the video, watch it right now. See how Morgan's story unfolds. You'll, you'll be glad to do it. I'll give it a thumbs up on that one. But yes, that is the end of Tiki, ladies and gentlemen. Bye, lots of rain for this character. Yay! Uh, about this character, I know Tiki does get anything right. You know, if I'm saying it good, I'm saying it right. Tiki just can't handle the truth. If you don't know about this, well, so am I. I love Tiki so much. Good for you. But yes, I'll ask you instead. I'm right, Tiki with a score of 8 out of 10. Great character. A very great character indeed. Nothing else to worry about here, but just as I expected. 
Anything can happen when you put your minds right into it. Way to go, Tiki. But yeah, that's one of my personal concerns for doing. But yeah, feel free to read or just read any thoughts your opinions in the comment section down below. With that, guys, we are done. Thank you all for watching another episode of Mochi Monster Bite. We hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you tomorrow with our exciting episode of the series. <sighs> hope you guys had a lot of fun. <laughs> but yes, everything must come to an end. I want to thank you for watching. But but the birdie says, not only yet, my friends, we have one more monster to go. The Super Monster League. Tuco, the Garish Glamingo. That'll be, that'll be on episode 448. So please keep your eyes peeled for it. Stay tuned for that video coming soon. You do not want to miss it. However, everything must come to an end. Don't forget to come back on Saturday for episode 11 of Rock to Your 047 Else Locus Free Told, LUL NBC, which is the National Broadcasting Company, requested by Icon and J. So please go check out right. So please stay tuned for that. Coming your way. It's coming your way on Saturday. For now, though, we must end this, shall we? Thank you so much. Without further ado, oh, that being said, thanks for watching. I'm the Gun Sentious. You for yourself. And I will see you tomorrow on Moshi Monsters Biography. Oh my gosh. Tomorrow we get to close out another Moshi set. This one being out of the Kitty set. I'm sure you say the Lucky set. That's right. Episode 434 will be about tickling the Kitten of Good Fortune. That's why we get to close out the, the Lucky set tomorrow here on Moshi Monster Biography. We started the set with Fernando the Mystic Maki on episode 142. Then the then Jackpot was the super super watching the lucky hoop to do. It was on episode one hundred ninety two. Uh, I don't know what the uh, what the species is, but you get the point. That we had, and then we had oh really the unlucky Larrikin. Yes, yeah. Now that I already talked about on episode uh, two hundred eighty, and then most recently Penny the Mini Bunny on episode two hundred two hundred ninety six. Yeah, you have seen. Yeah, please watch out for first. Let's like, come back as for, as we take a look at Tickly, the final boss in the Lucky Set. So be on the lookout for that. With that being said, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great rest of the day. I'll be going such as for for Mochi Monster Variety. Until next time, please remember to leave a like, share the video with your friends, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, turn on notifications to miss a new video. Please subscribe to notifications to don't miss another new video from me. As we're on the road to one thousand subscribers. Thank you for watching. You have a great rest of the day. I will talk to you guys again next time. I'll be going such as for Mochi Monster Variety. Until next time, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. And don't forget to come back tomorrow for episode uh, 343 of Logan History, where it's going to be about great TV, great movies, great movies action, and great movies classic. Plus, we have Logan History Moshi tomorrow, episode 14. It comes out tomorrow, so we have to look up for that as well. Anyways, guys, I'm your guys, this is for Moshi Monster Brian Thanks for watching. Until tomorrow, like, fair, subscribe. I'll see you in another video. Laters!